In this video, we are gonna show you how to integrate CyberSource to Salesforce in just a couple of moments. Let's go. All right, well, first off, install both the charge and base package as well as the charge and orders package. And you can put both of them into your production organization. Next, we're gonna configure Chargent. You've got some tips in the quick start guide, but that's really why you're on this video. So now here in Salesforce, we're gonna to need to get into the Chargent setup wizard. To do that, I'm gonna click on the waffle, which takes me to the app launcher. And then I'm gonna click the Chargent option on the screen. Once I'm in Chargent, I'm simply gonna to go to the gateways tab and click the new button. Since we're setting up CyberSource, we know that we do have a Payment Gateway account, so I'll click Yes. And now, we just need to find CyberSource and click Continue. Here, we're going to put in our Merchant ID, which is also likely your Organization ID, and also your Merchant Password. All right, now it's time to get the Transaction Security Key, and for that, we're going to log into the Business Center. I'm going to click Payment Configuration, I'm going to click Key Management, and then generate key. In this case, I wanna click transaction processing and then SOAP. To get this key, I'm just gonna click once on the key itself. I'm gonna use Control A to select all and Control C to copy. I'm gonna pop back over to the charge and setup wizard and I'm gonna use Control V to paste into the security key field. If you'd like some more help with any of that, just click this view gateway documentation link and that's gonna take you to the companion page for this video where you can find even more details on how to make this work. I don't think you're gonna need it because you should just click sign in and here we can see that our credentials have been successfully verified. I'm gonna click continue. Next, the Chargent Setup Wizard asks if we should use tokenization. Chargent strongly recommends that all of our customers use tokenization. For more information on that, check out our explainer video right here. Do be sure to consult our PCI guide for information on complete details about configuring Chargent to best reduce your organization's PCI scope. All right, next up, we've got currency. What are you gonna be using? On the screen, you can see the most popular ones with our Chargent customers. Do keep in mind, we support all government-issued currencies that are supported by your gateway. Next up, are you gonna use Payment Console? We sure hope you will. We think it's a very slick way to take payments. Uh, this is letting us know that the system is going to send an email on your behalf requesting the key. When you do get that, please bring that in and put it into the system to make sure everything works. All right, what payment methods will you be accepting? Credit card and bank account, sometimes known as ACH, e-check, or direct debit. And then which cards? So sometimes folks don't want to take American Express, so I can just toggle that off. I want to take all of these in my org, so I'm going to click Continue. One of the nice features of Payment Console is that there's a number of different ways that you could set up the buttons. You may want to do your charge button, you may want to just update a token, or possibly uh, you need to do an authorization and you don't need to do charge. Simply just toggle whichever ones you need for your process. And that's it. Congratulations. In just a quick five minutes, you've successfully configured your new charging gateway. Let's take a look at testing next. Okay, well now that you've got your gateway set up in Salesforce, it's time to do some test transactions. And we wanna do this to ensure that Chargent was set up correctly. And also, this is a good way to get to understand how Chargent is gonna help you take payments inside of Salesforce. Now, this is critical to your success as a Chargent user. You have to complete extensive testing. Remember that this is your payment system. No organization will survive if they cannot get paid. And if you fail to test, there's a good chance you won't get paid. So please, take this seriously. At a minimum, you're gonna to wanna to create a few test charges right now. So you can see the Gateway Setup Guide for some help with that. And you can also take a look at some of the other videos on this channel. Okay, just a quick aside to talk about sending transactions in the Salesforce Sandbox. So when Chargent is installed in the Salesforce Sandbox, Transactions, they're always sent to the Payment Gateway's test account or their developer environment. We do this as a security precaution. We wanna prevent real transactions being accidentally sent from your Salesforce Sandbox environment. When Chargent is installed in a production Salesforce environment, the test endpoint checkbox on the gateway record will allow you to select between sending payments to the live 
or the test environment. So quick tip here, there's a few exceptions to this rule about having different endpoints for live and then for test. So just note that we documented them in the companion page that goes along with this video, uh, which we did link below. In those exceptions, there will be a single endpoint to send the transactions to. And then there'll be different credentials for live versus test. And it's just something we want you to be aware of. Refer to your gateway setup guide for additional information that's unique to your gateway. Again, you'll find that in the description below. Well, that's it. You just integrated CyberSource to Salesforce in minutes. It's pretty impressive. I'd tell my boss if I was you. If you got any questions, just reach out to us here at Chargent. We are always here to help. In this video, you're going to learn about two advanced capabilities of the Salesforce CyberSource integration using the Chargent app. I want you to know that we have made a really easy to follow guide that explains all the details that you need to know about Salesforce and PCI. And we have made this available exclusively for folks like you that are watching this video. I want you to use the link in the description of this video to download the Salesforce PCI guide. My name is Stacy, and I'm from Chargent. So why would you want to connect Salesforce and Cybersource? Well, if you're processing online payments through Cybersource, connecting it to Salesforce enables better control, more automation, easier management, and complete visibility into your customers. And with the advanced features I'm going to show you here, you'll learn some Cybersource capabilities that you might not have known about. At Chargent, we specialize in Salesforce payments, so let's get started. Advanced feature number one, merchant-defined data fields. Did you know that Cybersource has 20 merchant-defined data fields? This is a rather unique feature of Cybersource that most payment gateways don't offer. Just like creating custom fields in Salesforce, there are custom fields in Cybersource. You can use the merchant-defined data fields to add other information to an order, such as an order number, additional customer information, or a special comment or request from the customer. Best of all, Chargent Salesforce Cybersource integration provides an easy way of mapping Salesforce fields to the Cybersource fields. So here are the steps. Step one, click on the Chargent app in Salesforce. Step two, go to the Chargent Settings tab. Step three, click on the Cybersource Custom Mapping sub-tab. Step four, select the object you want to map to Cybersource. This will be the object that you have Chargent fields on, such as Chargent orders or opportunities. Step five, add up to 20 fields, selecting Salesforce and corresponding Cybersource fields. One important thing to remember, when using these fields, merchant-defined data fields must never be used to capture personally identifying information, so be sure not to connect any fields with sensitive data. Personally identifying information includes name, address, credit card number, social security number, driver's license number, state-issued identification number, passport number, and card verification numbers. On the Cybersource side, these custom fields are shown on the detailed transaction description page. With great power comes great responsibility, but also the opportunity to improve your transactional data. So be sure that you are using those fields correctly to add information about orders, campaigns, and other data. Advanced feature number two, standard entry class or SEC codes. Another feature of Chargent Salesforce Cybersource Connection is the ability to send different ACH standard entry class, in other words, SEC codes, via the order source field. Electronic check transactions should include an SEC code to specify how your organization is authorizing the transaction. The order source field on the charge and order record can be set to indicate this value for ACH transactions. This allows you to send different SEC codes corresponding to the order sources in order to tell Cybersource's ACH processors the type of e-check transaction that you are sending. For ACH credits or debits against a personal checking or savings account, you could send a value of PPD, pre-arranged payment and deposit entry, or e-commerce to send an SCC value of web for charge of payment request payments where your customers or donors enter the bank account information themselves. Cybersource supports ACH and electronic bank transfer payments through four different check processors. Chase Payment Tech Solutions, Cybersource ACH Service, RBS World Pay Atlanta, and Telecheck. 
so you should check on any requirements from your processor, but Chargent should be able to handle sending the correct values to Cybersource for your different use cases. Another example, the value of ARC, Accounts Receivable Conversion, supports the conversion of paper checks received via US mail into a merchant's unattended lockbox. The value is used only by the payment tech processor, however. These features are just a taste of how Chargent gives you flexibility to connect to Salesforce and Cybersource to meet your specific operational needs. Just like Salesforce, it is a flexible and configurable system. And now, Check out this next video. My name is Stacy, and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you keep your payments simple. And remember, we're always here to help.